Today we're going to talk about uh, the danger of high winds on a construction site. Now, weather plays a huge role in our ability to work safely when working outdoors. While rain, snow, ice, and hot temperatures are something that we do often discuss, uh, we perhaps don't give quite as much focus to the hazards that wind can create for workers. It's important to realize the different hazards high winds can pose and what we can do to work safely in those conditions. So what are some of the hazards created by the wind? Well, the exact scope of work is going to determine what hazards high wind can create on a work site. Some hazards created by high winds that are universal for many construction jobs are uh, strains and sprains due to wind forcefully pulling doors from operators' hands, uh, struck by incidents due to objects being blown around, uh, slips, trips, falls due to workers reacting to a falling hard hat or an object uh, due to wind blowing these items from them. Uh, eye injuries due to small particles of flying debris and dust. Uh, drop loads while completing lifts uh, with high winds or in high wind conditions. Objects falling from elevated surfaces and even the tipping over of equipment or uh, perhaps trucks, depending on the circumstances under which that might occur. So, what are some of the best practices to eliminate hazards and injuries related to high winds? Uh, first, you eliminate work tasks altogether that become dangerous in excessively windy conditions. Uh, park trucks and equipment where uh, the wind is blowing against the opposite side that the operator exits and enters. Uh, don't reach or react to dropping an object or losing a hard hat to the wind. Uh, this can be very dangerous, especially when you're in an elevated position. Uh, do not attempt to conduct lifting operations during high wind events. Uh, we use an uh, anemometer or an app to figure out, uh, to monitor wind speeds. And we do have a certain wind speed that uh, constitutes a stoppage of lifting activities. Uh, never stand in the line of fire, whether that's below a lifted load, next to a truck dumping material, or downwind from blowing dust. Uh, wear at minimum safety glasses, but also consider uh, going to a goggle if conditions warrant their use. So pre-planning of tasks is critical to ensure a solid start to working safely on a construction site. Weather is a major factor in what tasks can or cannot be done in a, on a particular day. When high winds are going to be present, plan work accordingly. Avoid certain tasks during high wind events, as well as implement extra safeguards to ensure safety during the normal job tasks. Uh, where in our part of the world, we're coming into what's going to be a very windy, can potentially be a very windy time of the year. So this is something that we need to address to make sure we can continue to work safely, even if the wind does pick up.